All right, if you're a regular on my channel, you're probably familiar with the fact that I buy my guns based on what I saw in video games and movies. I don't really talk about history. If you watch my gun reviews, I don't talk about history because I'm not interested in gun history. I'm not going to talk about history and be fake. You know, I'm not going to read off Wikipedia for the sake of talking about history. But the gun I'm picking up today, it's a gun I'm not buying because of video games or movie influences. It's a gun I'm actually buying because it's the history that intrigues me. So this gun will go down as the only gun in my collection that I'm buying based on the history. All right, when it comes to the greatest gun of all time, there's probably never gonna be a clear cut answer. Too many variables, too many different guns invented, too many specific purposes for each genre of gun. If someone were to come up with a list of what the greatest guns of all time are, 98% of the people out there probably won't agree and the debate will go on for all of eternity. What I picked up today on the other hand is possibly the worst gun ever made. Today I picked up a Davis P380. Fucking hate these cable locks, man. Like I said in the opening clip, I don't talk about gun history in my gun videos. If I did, I would come off as uninterested because I am uninterested. But when it comes to Saturday Night Special History, now that's interesting to me. This is the only gun I've ever bought and probably will ever buy due to its history. This is a fucking ugly case, man. God damn. You hear all the stories on high points. You know, you got your high point haters. You know, they say high points blow up. High points are junk. I personally don't own a high point. But from what I've seen, people love their high points. Davis P380. This gun, on the other hand, back in the mid to late 90s, someone bought a Davis P380. Took it out shooting. And the fucking thing blew up. Sent shrapnel into the dude's eye socket. He sued Davis and Davis went bankrupt because of that incident. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm fucking scared to shoot this thing. I really am. Let's go ahead and take it apart. It's unloaded. I know you're not supposed to fucking dry fire these damn things, but I don't have any snap caps. Like all guns of this style you just push this little button down lift up and comes apart there's a frame here's a little uh i don't know what the fuck this thing's called whatever here's a firing pin and the spring the firing pin's nice and intact now i checked the slide out before i bought it, it doesn't have any cracks in it it looks like it's in mint condition you know the the last owner Probably didn't shoot it much in fear that it's going to fucking blow up in his face and take out his eye socket. It's probably why this damn thing's in mint condition. Here's the thing. I've seen a lot of videos on those Raven P25s. And from what I've seen, from what I've read, from all the research I've done, I never heard a case where the Raven... P25 has blown up. It's a 25 ACP. 25 ACP has the fucking ballistics of a paintball gun. This gun's a 380. 380 is like three times more powerful than a fucking 25 ACP. 25 ACP has like, I believe it's like 60 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle. 380s have like 190 to 210. So that's a significant difference. So I, I'm kind of afraid to shoot this gun. Does Anyone want to shoot this gun? Free of charge. I'll give you a free box of ammo. Shoot this gun. Try it out. You know you want to. But uh, I don't know, man. This thing only holds five rounds, this magazine here. Five rounds. Can't hurt, can it? I'll probably wear a motorcycle helmet before I shoot this damn thing. But uh, this gun right here, $15. 
cost fifteen dollars to manufacture fifteen dollars with the labor total labor fifteen dollars for the material and it was sold for like 90 bucks brand new these kind of guns saturday night specials when brand new sell for 50 to like 90 bucks this gun was 90 dollars 15 dollars worth of supplies here what did i pay for this thing 130 bucks <laughs> now you guys are probably thinking like what the fuck man what a fucking maroon but you know what i had to own one of these things when i bought my 1911 if you're in Southern California, check out Royal Loan. You know, I, I don't work for the guys. I'm not getting paid for this. You know, they're just, it's a small business. It's a family-owned business. You know, I like to support family-owned business. So, you know what, 130, man. You know, I want to help out, help out a family-owned business. And I really wanted one of these things. You know, it's one of those things like, I know the damn thing's worth 15 bucks, probably less now, but I really wanted one. When I picked my 1911 up, I saw this thing shining at me i didn't have any money because i just bought the 1911 and i asked the owner i was like hey man i really want that davis you know could you could you hold it for me you know could i just put a little down and you guys could reserve it for me he was like yeah man just put down 15 bucks we'll we'll reserve it for you so i th I, I thought that was really cool so if you're in san diego check out royal loan but you know like i said you know it's one of those things i really wanted one of these guns picked it up you know this is the gun and I'll talk more about it when I review the thing because you know what, I'll, I'm going to find the courage to shoot it or have someone else shoot it after they sign a waiver that I'm not responsible for them losing a fucking eye. But um, when I shoot, I'll do a review on this gun. I'll talk more in depth about it. But, you know, it's Saturday Night Special if you're unfamiliar with that term. They're called Saturday Night Specials because it was a cheap gun that anyone could afford anyone could get protection and you know the anti-gun people freaking hated these things these were like the devil's gun right here these were a cancer to society and there's a sight picture right there it looks decent actually but yeah these were a cancer to society because they were so affordable so the anti-gun people hated these damn things and my theory on why these type of guns are so hard to find. Damn, this thing is shiny, man. Spectacular. It's like the 4th of July. But my theory on why these things are so hard to fucking find in California. This thing was made in fucking Chino, California, man. Yeah, my camera's pink. I'm borrowing it from my sister. I haven't bought a new one yet. So no, I don't have a pink camera. Nothing wrong with that, though, if you want a pink camera. But uh, here's my other camera. Here's my camera I refuse to get rid of. The one with, like, why the fuck am I talking about my camera? Anyway, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, yeah, my theory on why these guns are so goddamn hard to find in California. They were made in California. So my theory is these guns in California were probably used in crime so most of these fucking guns are probably living on the bottom of the ocean somewhere so yeah when I saw this thing I had to get it but uh like I said it's 380 man I'm I mean it's a decent caliber let's see let me, let me go ahead and do some comparisons here let me grab around okay nine millimeter right here this is a macro of round and this is a 380 right there so you know it's almost a real caliber so yeah it's a pretty small gun too let's go ahead and compare it to some things here's a snub nose revolver right here and here's a 1911 right here see it's a small gun so um there it is right there possibly the worst gun of all time right here had to own one you know this is this is one of the, the guns i had to have in my collection didn't really matter what kind of saturday night special i got i just had to have one and i happened to run into a davis p380 the gun that fucking blew up in someone's face and sent davis industries out of business so you know oh well couldn't find a raven i'll live with this i mean it's in good shape i'll say that i mean 
If I don't find the courage to shoot it, damn it, shiny. That thing is sweet, man. You know, desert eagles are nice, man, but you know, if, if you just like desert eagles because they're shiny, pick up one of these, man. They could compete with desert eagles in the bling category. This is a true gangsta gun. I mean, it doesn't get any more gangsta than Chino, California. If I ever find the courage to shoot it, I'm going to shoot it like that. That's the proper way to shoot a gangsta gun. All right, there it is, my latest purchase. Had to own one of these things. All right, everyone, kick ass, be safe. Have a great weekend. Take it easy.